Hello folks, this is a new episode of Composing with Pack and Cage and today we are going to granulate Debussy. Granulation is used in electronic music. Granular synthesis is a way of slicing up a uh, audio file into small slices and playing it fast to create um, sound textures. So I thought it would be interesting to try this on a score instead. So take a score, slicing it up into small little sections then create layers and uh, and see what comes out of the original score. My victim today is Debussy and I um, and I chose Children's Corner. <laughs> Children's Corner MIDI file that I downloaded from the internet and I can see how I have a file with several markers and these markers are actually handy because I can use them to uh, choose the uh, measures that I want to process. Uh, first object I'm going to use is a, a cage slice and the cage slice will receive a score and slice it up based on the markers that it's receiving we can see how this score has many, many slices and I don't necessarily want to use all of them. In fact, let's just use, say, three of them and then do the granulation on that, on those three measures. Uh, use a bar pick. Let's use a slice three and four. Three will be this one, the first one after the low C, and then four, the one after that. And then what I have to do is to uh, join these two slices and uh, we instantiate the parentheses that have been stripped uh, by the back pick, giving it an, an attribute at inwrap one. In order to make those two slices into a single back row, I need to do the inverse operation that I did here. Uh, so I'm going to use a cage join. I have to dump the whole score in. So this is the first step and that's just to choose which one of the measures I want to use. The second step is to uh, create my own markers. These markers will be closer together because I want just this to be a real granular idea. So to have just small section of the sections of the score to be uh, part of the granulation. A message add marker uh, and then add the marker um, onset in milliseconds and then add a name for it. Let's say the marker will be added uh, half a second into the score. But let's do a, something a little more elaborate and let's create this uh, with Nuzi so I don't have to uh, manually input all the markers. I want to clear the market markers first. So let's do that and now every time I create, I trigger the Uzi, I will, uh, I will have cleared the previous markers, otherwise uh, I will get more and more as I go. Uh, and let's use the index of the um, Uzi to set the name of the marker. Have, for instance, a marker every 100 milliseconds. And now I created the grid of smaller markers. I would add, for instance, something that is not always regular normalize this uh, index so that it goes from zero to uh, almost one for instance in the sign uh, function so that it oscillates in length add like a rhythmic uh, irregular offset to the placement of the marker so that i have a, 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 an offset for each marker but i also have some distortion added by the sign function. I need to multiply it by a, uh, a tau value just to make it a, a full cycle. Uh, so, so that's uh, a tau value and, and then I can multiply the, the incoming um, normalized value by a frequency, say um, frequency of four. Uh, so I will have four sine waves over the course of this core. And now I can start seeing some irregularity and I can tweak uh, the amount of distortion so it's not too extreme. 
and now the slices are or of different length. We can uh, start doing some granulation by repeating uh, each one of the slices um, a, a certain amount of times. And um, we can use, for that, we can use the back repeat. And the back repeat will just repeat whatever list is incoming. In this case, it will be a um, back roll, like it will be a, a slice of a back roll that I can repeat as many times as I want. But this is an iterative process. We could use the back eater and back collect, but I want to uh, use um, a, an object that does both um, iteration and collection. Back map lm, map map element, meaning it will map each element to a certain function and then collect that element processed and then output as a whole list. So this is the lambda outlet and it says lambda outlet. The way this works, I can attach my function here and then reconnect it to the top uh, lambda inlet. All right. So in this case, I can do a back repeat and then do this. And pretty much uh, that's all I need. Let's add a random value for the repeat. So I can do just a simple trigger list bang because I want to first uh, bang a, a random object. So the list will be repeated 10 times at maximum, but random amount. And then it will be uh, input into the back uh, map element, which will collect it iteratively. So um, let's do again the cage slice. I want to give it a onset onset uh, one, which uh, will um, prevent the slices from having notes being carried over from the previous slice. So if a note is long, I don't want this uh, note to appear in all of the slices. I just want the notes, the onsets of which are contained in the slice to appear. Cage join. And in this case, I don't need to do a back join because the map element is already collecting this into a single list. Again, I have to send a, I have to send a dump message so that the whole score will be dumped into the slice. The slice will, um, will give the map element uh, all of the slices, which will be iterated, repeated, and collected again, and then joined again. So dump. Okay, so um, this um, just like the um, just like the back eater object, the map element by default uh, iterates through each one of the elements in the list, and we don't want that. So the default. Uh, in the map element and in the eater should really be uh, max step one because that's usually what what you want um, but you actually have to give it explicitly and now I have a number of repetition for these slices that it's decided at random the next step I want to take is to uh, actually scramble these these um, slices so they are not always repeating the same slice at the same time i can use a box scramble just like the zl scramble will just take a list and just rearrange the order at random since the uh, scramble default is to uh, scramble each inner list as well as the whole list and we don't want that. We just want to scramble the items, the slices. So again, I have to give it a uh, argument at max depth one. Here I have now uh, all of my rearranged slices. I want to create um, an actually a polyphonic texture. And so I want to have more than one voices and each voice is going to have a different um, ordering of these little slices. Uh, so before we do the scramble, I want to repeat this score by a number of voices that I want. So I can use the 
back repeat again. I just want to have a number of voices, let's say five. And then uh, I'm going to scramble this uh, differently for each different voices. So, um, so to do that, I use the back map element again. I keep the max step one as an argument. And then I, in this case though, uh, since um, the repeat that not, does not add parentheses around each element it's repeating, I want to add the attribute at in wrap one. So each element will be wrapped. This will be recognized as a single item by the back map element. Each element will be passed through the back map, map element. And then I can do the slice, the slicing, and then I can do the um, scramble. And I have to do the, uh, I have to add the attribute at max depth because by default, um, back scramble will uh, scramble each level of parentheses, each um, sub lists inside the item, and I don't want that. I just want the um, I just want the slices to be scrambled. I can join whatever comes out of here. Finally, I want to wrap this into a level of parentheses uh, because um, the combined voices will need. Uh, each one of the voices to be wrapped into a lever of parentheses. And then we can feed this back into the map element. One thing that is missing, and it took me a while to figure out, is that um, actually I do want to get rid of one level of parentheses as the item comes out of here, because the box slice uh, will take a roll. And when the roll is wrapped into a level of parentheses, the box slice will not recognize it as a role so so I can do a back flat but the back flat will flatten all of the parentheses inside the sub list so I don't want that I just want to the first order of parentheses to be um, to be flattened to be taken out finally when I'm when I'm done with that I can do com combine voices if I dump that it might take a while because um, it's it's a lot of processing that my back has to do, but you know, took probably a uh, couple of seconds. And then since the markers are kind of insane here, I can get rid of them. And now I have my um, granular score with multiple voices. Uh, starting from a couple of measures, I have created a big texture of sound. So I hope this was uh, interesting um, and uh, the patch is available for my uh, patrons. I made a patch where uh, each step is explained by uh, going through uh, each step in detail uh, and then you can go through it and, uh, and just see how it works. And uh, as a patron, you also have the ability of asking me questions. Uh, and uh, in general s support my work so I hope you check it out and uh, until that next time take care